Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today, we're going to get right into your twin flame reading. Um, I'm a Sagittarius myself, so I love reading for you guys, my brothers and sisters. Um, this is going to be a twin flame reading into a connection that you have with somebody over the next seven days. What that connection holds, how you see each other. I'm going to pull cards for both you and your person, and we're going to take a look at all the energy that's going on. All right, guys, so Sagittarius. What is going on over the next seven days for my Sagittarius? Show me. All right, guys. Sag, you're coming in this week as five of cups. You see them as a page of pentacles. You desire six of swords. And what needs to happen is hermit. Wow. They're coming in as a king of wands. They see you as the hanged man. They desire a four of cups and what needs to happen, a two of wands. Bottom of the deck, four of swords. So it's a truce moment, right? You guys are kind of stepping back, taking a moment to sort of figure out what's going on with each other, right? Four of swords is a card for truce and sort of uh, regathering yourself, right? Um... <clears throat> Wow. All right, Sagittarius. There's some worry here. There's some worry. Are you worried about having your heart broken again? Let's get into it. Five of Cups is how you're coming in. Yeah, you're kind of worried. You're looking at the past. You're like, uh-oh, this is the same shit all over again, right? Five of Cups is an inner struggle, you know, that we have five being power, the number for power struggle in tarot. And with Five of Cups, we find ourselves sort of like struggling between pessimism, uh, pessimism because of failed relationships or failed romances of the past and are we willing to give it another go right which one is it going to be are you going to wallow in sadness or give it another go and so you're kind of going through that over the next seven day period which will it be for you Sagittarius your person is coming in as king of wands fiery masculine uh they may be off doing their own thing king of wands is somebody who's very, very unique, very creative. They're a leader. They're definitely a dominant person. They may be doing uh, some kind of highly creative work or something like that, but they're definitely coming in as the dominant one, the one who's kind of like uh, on top of his game, right? King of Wands energy. They're feeling that. They're feeling strong. They're feeling like they're moving on with what they need to do. King of Wands, they certainly, King of Wands also certainly has a, an idea of what he wants and he manifests it, right? I mean, he's can strongly manifest his, his vision, right? And um, this is something that your person is going to be very busy with and this energy that they're going to be bringing is very, very, very fiery. And certainly Sagittarius is something that's going to draw you in because you're naturally going to be attracted to that. Now, how do you guys see each other? You see them as a page of pentacles. Again, yeah, they could be working this next seven-day period a lot, right? Working on their project, working on their vision, working on whatever it is this King of Wands wants to sort of manifest. So you're going to be seeing them doing that. A lot of tasks, a lot of working. May not have much time for you. They see you as the hanged man. So this is interesting. They see you as somebody who's a little bit stuck, right? They see you... Uh, I want to say they may see you as someone who is a little bit in need of inspiration. Um, it could be also that you may be giving them inspiration because when they see you, they see hanged man. So, th you know, it's, it's like, how shall I put it? It almost feels as though like they can see that you're in a kind of, in a kind of holding pattern and that they're also in a kind of holding pattern, right? And it almost feels to me like inspiration is coming in for them about both of you. Like, that you are inspiring them and that almost you may be, they may be inspiring you also. Hangman is an awakening, right? So it's not so much that you're stuck. It's, it's you know, the energy of being stuck in a position or being lazy and not wanting to move forward, put effort in, comes, it's that energy right before the hanged man, as it were, right? Because once the hanged man shows up, he has the halo of enlightenment and inspiration coming in. So the hanged man shows up at that moment when inspiration shows up and reminds you it's time to move off of that T, right? That T bar. 
So it's it, it feel it's strange. It feels to me almost like they see you as a real source of kind of like waking up and realizing, wow, this there's more I want to do with my life. Right. They can and also there is I think a sense here that they want you also to be doing more. What do they what do you guys desire in this relationship? Now here it gets interesting. They desire four of cups, six of swords. So four of cups it's almost as if they want to, four of cups is like when somebody's not accepting your cup of love, right? So generally when we have a card like this in a position of desire, nobody's desiring uh, to be rejected. So in this situation, it can very well be that they are desiring sort of trying to win you over, right? They strongly desire sort of wanting to get more from you, right? Four of cups is an offer of love. That somebody accepts, but that somebody is like reticent to accept. So, in the position of desire, Sagittarius, it makes me feel like they really are wanting to sort of break through somehow. And again, it could be hangman energy. There's something here that's. Uh, it isn't that it's stagnant or anything like that, but it, it needs to be moved. There's an obstacle that needs to be moved. It could be an understanding. And it could be just that you are closed off. Right? Because with that five of cups, I'm not surprised that you are unwilling to necessarily accept their cup of love. Right? You're like, hang on a second. I've been through this before. Right? I, what are you giving me with this cup of love? And so they really want to break through that, I feel like. They want to get somehow to you. You're desiring six of swords in this relationship. So you want harmony. You want you want to be able to communicate with them. You want harmony. And I feel like you want to see that right away before you're willing to accept anything. Are you two going to be able to speak? Are you two going to be harmonious? Are you two going to sort of, you know, uh, you know, wade off into the sunset, right? What will the waters be like between the two of you? And for you, Sagittarius, it's like something you want it to be very clear, I think. You want it to be clear that this relationship is going to be one of harmony and not drama. Again, back to Five of Cups. You are just so worried, I think, that this is going to somehow turn into what you've had before that was full of angst and trouble and fighting and arguing and back and forth that you are being very, very, very cagey. And they are just like desperate to sort of like, yo, let's move, let's move. I've got King of Wands energy under me. I see, you know, come on, accept my cup of love, right? What needs to happen? Hermit and Two of Wands. So for you, take some time really to look within Sagittarius and, and figure out what it is that you truly want, what it is that you're truly willing to do here. How much are you willing to give of yourself to make this connection happen, right? And how much of it not happening, how much of this Five of Cups is down to you and to your own sort of maybe outlook, right? Are you brave enough to give it a go despite the fact that you are absolutely sort of like, oh, no, not again, and you're kind of being very standoffish? For them, Two of Wands, they need to be much more active and actionary about wanting you. Two of Wands is action. They need to fight for this, Right? And again, it, it could be also that this is hangman here, right? It's like uh, you may not, you, you're just not giving them enough, right? It could be that they may have been trying to sort of, to, you know, this it feels like a new connection, first of all, right? Um, but it almost feels to me, Sagittarius, like they're like, hang on, you know, Sag can take it or leave it. They can take it or leave it, you know? And, and I think that this feeling that they're getting, how they see over this next seven days, this hangman energy, which is this kind of like, uh, you know, am I going to put effort in? Am I inspired enough to put effort in or not? A lot of this is coming out of the fact that you, you want to see more action, right? If you're not accepting their cup of love here, it's because they haven't given you any proof that what comes with that cup of love is worth accepting. They may just, like, want to be with you. They may just want to be having sex with you. They may have... A couple of nice dates with you but what exactly are they offering you and until you see that in action you may not give them the and you may not be giving them you know the fire that they are wanting or seeing they you know again you may be coming across hangman energy sort of oh I'm all right here either way it's fine with me right they want to see more certainly 
Two of Wands, King of Wands. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius. Four of Swords is there again to remind you that this is a tricky connection that's going to take a little bit of work and communication. Certainly for you, Sagittarius, like I said, they're going to have to do more. They're going to have to show more. Show and prove is what I say, right? Before you're willing. And for you, it could very, you know, it, it is important that you kind of stay on to yourself a little bit. You may be dealing with somebody who really likes the chase or... Sorry, guys, I dropped one of the cards. Who either likes the chase or they, they um, you know what I mean? They need to see that you're, you're, you can still be, you're on your own. You can still be on your own. You're fine, right? That's going to make them sort of, I think, be more actionary about two of wands. This person may have just not uh, been moving forward to you fast enough. And again, that reminds you of what you went through before. You're just not willing to go there. Right? You're not willing, you're not willing to put that extra effort in if they aren't. Right? And again, they're busy with work, page of pentacles. There's a lot of that going on over the next seven days. And you're like, okay, that's cool. But if you want to be with me, you're going to have to do a little bit more to show me that you really want to be with me. Show me what's going on in this connection for Sagittarius. Show me. Excuse me, I got the sniffles a little bit. Some are cold. Page of uh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, it's a lot of working going on. Yep. Ten of Cups, the Fool. And the King of Cups. Well, there you go. Right? So this is a new connection. It has all of the hallmarks and all of the, you know, it has the ability to be a perfect completion to love. Here, Ten of Cups. What it is you've been looking for, wanting that perfect connection, right? The whole shebang. But you're dealing with somebody who works a lot. They love to work. They may make a lot of money. Knight of Pentacles over King of Wands. They, they may travel for work, but they certainly like to work a lot. And this is something that may be logistically in the way here. Um, but the love is there, Ten of Cups. It's new, the fool. There is a feeling of having to take a bit of a chance here for both of you, right? But certainly for you. Do I want to get into this? If, if, do I want this new adventure? And King of Cups, well, there you go. They need to certainly come in as the King of Cups and make it be known that you are theirs, you are what they want, right? Uh, you know, this real kind of stamping on the, on the connection. Yes, I want this Sagittarius. I want you Sagittarius. And now let me show you what I'm going to do to get it. Because King of Cups knows exactly who he wants and he knows the kind of relationship he wants and he makes sure to, to take it, to get it, to achieve it. He can sometimes be quite jealous and controlling, but for the most part right now, you're very much waiting for this person to step up into this role. And if this doesn't happen, you're perfectly happy on your own, Hermit Energy. Perfectly happy. So the ball's kind of in their court. Yes, this, is a, this could be a great connection, but the ball is very much in their court. Um, and it isn't so much that I want to say that you are... Uh, afraid of moving forward, but I think this Five of Cups is keeping you very, very sober about, hey, I remember I was hurt before. I remember I was hurt before. Let me be careful, Four of Swords. Let me be careful. Let me make sure that we're always, we're always, you know, we're moving towards a harmonious connection right off the bat. And if not, I can be on my own, Hermit. So it's up to them. If they want you, they love you. We have two kings. You're definitely dealing with somebody who's dominant masculine in this connection the dominant not you did you know your your person in this connection is a dominant masculine individual we're not talking about gender we're just talking about energy here and so it's very much the ball is in their court to woo this Sagittarius and really show to you Sagittarius that you are what they want all right guys I'm going to leave it at that I hope this is a good reading for you. I hope it gave you some clarity on a connection and how it may work out for you over this next seven-day period. If it did, Sagittarius, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check out your other videos on my channel. But for right now, have a great week, and I shall see you in your next reading, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.